Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Voice Overs Podcast. I'm King of Ronald Glow Mine. And I'm 24K Logan. And today we are doing a one gotta go for Polo G, Lil Baby, Young Boy, and Lil Dirt. Alright, so one gotta go between Lil Baby, Lil Dirt, Polo G, and Young Boy. So before I give my answer, I think it's best that we talk about each yeah, artist about, yeah. because both of these, or well, all four of these rappers, all four of these rappers are amazing in my opinion. As of right now, the best artist in 2020, like releasing wise and just... In the 2020s decade, you're saying? Yeah, they're like a, you can call them a Mount Rushmore if you want to. For the 2020s, it's, it's debatable because you got some people that would throw Jid in the conversation. Um, some people would still have guys like Uzi and 21 and Kodak. Um, but these guys are definitely, in a way, taking over the 2020s in terms of having the younger audience yeah. behind them. Um, it's going to be very tough for me to make a decision. I have the yeah, stat sheet too. right I here. Even, I'm, I'm, we'll get into that. So, I'm going to start off with young boy because right. we're, going, we're going to talk about every artist i'm going to start off with young boy right. so just to give you some stats and to give y'all some stats as well in 2021 yb became the second artist to have a number one album for three consecutive years in 2022 yb became the rapper with the fifth most charting albums in billboard 200 history breaking a tie with jay-z at 2020 i mean at 24 in 2022, he was the third most streamed artist in the United States behind Drake and Taylor Swift. And at this moment, Youngboy is the 23rd most streamed rapper on Spotify. All those numbers blew me away. He's also the 13th artist to chart 100 plus entries on the Hot 100. And he's the youngest artist to hit 100 entries on the Top 100, on the Hot 100, I'm sorry. Yeah. Was there somebody you wanted to talk about? Let's start with Polo G. Okay. So man, we got we got Die Legend Polo G. We got the Goat Polo G. I feel like that's right there. I'm not saying man it's fell off, but I feel like that's really like prime Polo G, like in his back. Like that's what got everybody in the Polo G, especially with Die Legend. I agree. But with Hall of Fame, when that came out, it was it was cool, but it was not forgettable just like i wish it was the a little second more half, with it yeah the second half of the album um i mean that's when the baby was cool i love toxic and broken guitars those are on replay um there was someone with fabio foreign and pop smoke i want to talk about that one because okay. it was it was somehow i just it, it, i got on my recommendations it was the original snippet was called woo shit that was the name of it mm -hmm. But it got remixed to Clueless, and I'm and not. This is why I like don't like listening to leaks nowadays. Because if you listen to the original version of Clueless, man, that is a banger right there. But when they had did the album release, the beat was a little different. I just I just couldn't get with it. So I still listen to the original version to this day, you know. So I will say this about Hall of Fame: No Return with Dirk and Wait, No Return Roy, Fire. Amazing. I think that's the best song off of that album. I would say that like that album or that song is still on repeat for me. Um, and now that we're talking about Polo G, so for me, well, obviously Polo G has the shortest catalog out of all these guys that we listed in terms of studio albums. Anyway, he has the shortest catalog, but I think on a lyrical standpoint, you can make a very strong argument that Polo G is the most lyrical out of all these guys. Yeah. Like bar for bar, punchline for punchline, I think he's the best. I think he also would have the, I would say between him and Youngboy, have the best melodic appeal yeah, that they bring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Although I think Youngboy's melodic appeal is more more memorable, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, I mean, I love Nowhere by Youngboy. I love oh, yeah. that, man. But with Polo G, I feel that it's more consistent. I feel that it's more smooth, more crisp when yeah. he does his melodic performance. Yeah, like um, "Beautiful Pain," "Losing My Mind." Love that song. He there's a snippet. It's, I don't know if he's ever going to officially release it, but you know the song "Let Me Love You" by Mario. Mm -hmm. He actually did a cover to that. That just sounds pretty amazing. Like okay. I, I like it. I have to sing you that after this. But yeah, um, 
Dirk. Let's get a Dirk. Okay. He has the biggest catalog mm -hmm. out of all these guys. And most experience. And you go all the way back to the days of Sign to the Streets. Amazing. Uh, 52 Bars, Dirk, man. I love part every two. 52 Bars song. 52 Bars Part 2, man. You... you you just had to have been there. See, that's a dirt a lot of people don't know about. A lot of people know the Laugh Now, Cry Later dirt. Now, y'all gotta go back and listen to that dirt. That was, man, certified Chicago legend. And right Dirk there. has been on a huge comeback in recent years. In terms of quality, where do you compare his discography to Youngboy? Oh, and, over, and, and by the way, Youngboy. by the way, I don't want to make this a young boy versus dirt thing. We are not trying to do that. That's we're, not yeah, what we're doing. Well, yeah, we're not promoting any of that. We we just brought them up because they like have the 2020s, two catalogs. Yeah. Dirt's catalog is a tad bit bigger, but in terms of numbers, young boy has done a lot. I don't want to say like a lot more numbers than all these artists, like a huge gap. Yeah. He has definitely did more numbers than all of these artists yeah for and sure yeah and all of these artists are like multi-platinum so when we say multi-platinum we mean like multi-platinum so and while people can question young boy some of young boys um quality in his content you can't deny the work ethic and i would say that ai in no particular order but my top five favorite young boy albums ai young boy 2 colors top for respect, for freedom, for loyalty, for what and what's important, and until death call my name. Yeah. Those are my in no order, I would say those are my five favorite um young boy albums. Yeah. And I think I think in terms of quality and numbers, it does go to toe it does go toe to toe with Dirk's um best albums. But yeah. again, I, I don't want to make this a Yeah, young, young boy, boy versus, versus Dirk. Yeah. yeah, like let's say we're not condoning it, but these are two talented artists and you know it's not my situation what's been going on between them but i feel like they really had put their differences behind them and just came together and made another song just i would like, love to see them on a collab album yeah. bro like a, a full collab album with these two would be yeah. amazing it, it really would yeah and then there's all this other differences yeah, they're so talented man especially dirt especially young boy man now i'm going to get to Lil baby because i have not Lil talked baby. about him yeah okay so Lil baby I have said this before, maybe not on this channel, but I have said this with people that I've talked to. I believe I said this with you. Mm -hmm. I believe that my turn is already a certified classic for the new generation. I truly believe that when it's all said and done, five, ten years from now, we're going to look back at my turn as a classic album, especially for the newer generation. That album... I can play that album any day from start to finish, car ride, studying, doing homework, just chilling and vibing. Yeah. Like, even when I'm working out, I can play that album from start to finish any day. Yeah. I love my turn. Now, his most recent project, while it wasn't a bad album. Stand On It was great. Yes. All right, that, that was a great intro. And for real. I love For Real. I, I played that in one of my TikTok yeah, for videos. for real. Yeah. Wasn't a bad album. And I don't like to compare each album to each other. But it did not do nothing for me compared to my turn. Yeah. I did like the album overall. Just because I was glad to get another album from Lil Baby like a solo album from him yeah but it's not on the level of my turn and drip harder with gunner also another amazing album yeah and lil baby uh he, he does numbers too lil baby is the 12th artist to chart 100 plus entries on the hot 100 so that's a big deal and consider everything that he's like done like you know I know earlier when we were speaking about this, you said that you feel that Lil Baby has gotten repetitive with some of his content. No, no, no. Well, not, no, no. I was talking about Young Boy with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. did say Young Boy. Yeah. Okay. I, I heard someone say that they feel that Lil Baby has sounded the same lately, which I could see it in a way, but it still sounds good. Yeah. And I feel like all four of these artists are extremely versatile. So that, that's really what's making this one gotta go. Because this has been like the hardest one gotta go. All four of them on a song together would go crazy. Yeah. As far as we know, I mean, we only got three-headed goat. 
Mm-hmm. That's the closest we really the got. The short is, I didn't even think about it. Hey, man, see, three had to go. Polo G, Lil Dirt, Lil Baby. Who had the best verse? I went with Polo. Yeah, I'm going to say Polo G had the best it's verse. It's that three car garage, million dollar crib, Three man. with bitch riding on top yeah, of that, Come man. on, man. Yeah, man. And then. The hook was nice, though. Yeah. Um. Let's go to features, like featuring artists. Because uh, that song he did with Nicki Minaj, Do We Have a Problem, Lil Baby. That was a great. He, had, li- he did great. I verse. like the song that he did with Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Oh, yeah. Did, with the, what that? Two Step Remix? Yeah, Two Step Remix. I listened to a little bit of it. It was cool. The Highest in the Room Remix was pretty cool. Um, Polo G, he had that, uh, that Better Day song he uh, featured on. We also talked about the song he did with Kid Leroy and Dirt, No Return. Mm-hmm. Isn't it funny how all of these artists have done songs, except for Young Boy, all these artists have done multiple songs together. It's crazy how we pair them against each other, not like in a bad way. Yeah, just uh, in a... Yeah, we pair them against each other, but three of them have done multiple songs together, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, now, here is the tough question. One gotta go. Now... Before I give my answer, every last one of these guys, as you said, are versatile, very talented. They all do numbers. Numbers. Three of them were on a song together and have done multiple songs together. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even mention, uh, we were talking about features. I forgot to mention uh, Broadway Girls by uh, Lil Derek Morgan Wallen. Yes. Fire. And all of them have albums that I think will go down as classic albums someday. Especially in the 2020s, like yes. I feel like they all have like the top ten albums. I would say from each artist, my favorite album from each artist. So for me, for Young Boy, I would say that my favorite would be between AI Young Boy Two or For Respect, For Freedom, For Loyalty, For What's Important. For Polo G, I would go with the Goat. Definitely, easily, the, easily the Goat for Polo for Polo G, easily the Goat for Polo G. For Lil Baby, my turn. I think I've all, I already said that. I, my turn is definitely my favorite Lil Baby album. Yeah. Without question. And for Dirk, it will be Signed to the Streets Part 1. That's my favorite Classic. album by Dirk. I forgot to mention Voice of the Heroes. Him and Lil Baby actually had a collab album. Yes, I, I, I think that was a decent one album. One of the best collab albums we had in years. Ultimately, the one that has to go for me. You were saying at the same time? or Polo G. Young the boy, one, young boy. Wow. I hope you know that the young boy mafia is going to come after you for saying that. Hey, can I leave a light, young boy mafia, please? <laughs> Bro, you really think that young boy has to go? There's okay. no way you just said that. I'm not hating on young boy, and I'm not saying that all his music sounds alike. The melody stuff is really what I can listen to with young boy, but just everything else, man. I feel like... I feel like the the, the, the guns and the, 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 the hype music and all that, it, it, it's cool, but it can only work so much. You know, that's why I would say he got to go. I understand where you're coming from. I really do. And it's a quantity over quality thing with him. I agree, but I would, here's the thing. I would argue that Young Boy has five albums that are at least decent albums. Polo G, he has two albums that are certified decent albums hall of fame i don't think it's a bad album i think it's slightly maybe slightly above average and i'm not even sure on that because i i still have he did have that deluxe on think, hall of fame it's okay yeah good. yeah and, but, and but what about rap star rap star was good too it was it was but i like bro i mean i think about songs from young boy like genie like there, I can't. I, Gangsta I can't, by Young Boy was cool. The one with Quando Rondo. Yes. Like, That's there's no lie, way. Dude. There's no way that I'm taking Young, young Boy is the first that stained. I said Polo was the first that stained. No, no. In terms of talent, man. Little baby is okay. staying before Polo G. Bro. Okay, I'm just waiting on Polo G's next album, and then we can we can probably come back to this. But if, if we Polo, definitely can. If Polo G drops another album, well, when he does, and I am I, I, my expectations is like high for Polo G's. I'm I really want his, his next album to be like a banger. I, when you talk about Dirk, I think while the middle of Dirk's catalog, in between like where he started and where he is now, the middle of it. 
you can kind of pick apart if it's good or bad, average yeah. or slightly above average or whatever. But after the uh, Drake collab, you know, mm-hmm. the Laugh Now Cry Later, and then uh, Hellcats, Track Hawks, you know. But Dirk has, he has the most time in the game out of all these guys. And he has some classics. He's a Chicago legend for sure. Guaranteed. He's on the Chicago Mount Rushmore for the newer generation. Of, well, I wouldn't even say the newer If you're talking drill artists, Chicago Mount Rushmore, uh, Dirk is definitely on there. I, I thought it would come down to Dirk, Chief Keef, Kanye, and Juice. Well, for the drill. For drill. Oh, strictly drill. Oh, I thought you were talking about Chicago in general. But yeah. For strictly drill, Vaughn. Vaughn, definitely. Dirk, Chief Keef, without question, most impactful drill artist ever. You can the say fourth, G Herbo. You could say G Herbo. Some people would say Young Pappy. Yeah, again, yeah, him. There's no way Young Boy is leaving this. Bro, I just read you these stats. Look, bro. look, look. You can argue with the whole numbers thing, and I know numbers and is impact, important. I, and impact. Bro. I know impact's important too. His bro. fan base. I know his fan base, but like I said, it comes down with quantity and quality with that man. I'm not saying his music isn't good. But it's so much. I'm like, I ain't even done with this album, and he done dropped another one, man. That's my whole thing. I understand that that lowers his batting average. I get it. But again, Polo G has two for sure albums that are really great. He has one album that is maybe slightly above average. Youngboy has five albums that are good albums. I would argue that two of them are classics that's why polo g is gone for me i i don't want to say like that because i enjoy polo g he's the best lyricist out of all of these guys you can hardly he has like like all of their stats but i'm not put, i'm not putting polo g over young boy bro i can't do it too many memories from young boy in high school yeah genie was a song that i listened to me. every day and then you got I no smoke, young boy, and I am yes. outside of there. Yes. What? Yes. Okay, okay. So if we take off somebody else from this list, who would go? Who would be second after Polo G for me? The second person? I say Lil Baby. I say Lil Baby. I'm, I'm going to say Lil I Baby. Say Lil baby. I, I'm going to say Lil Baby. At the moment, at the moment for what they've done in recent years, I would say Dirk in recent years. But all time at all time like for their entire catalog it would be Lil Baby then it would be Dirt Young Boy is the last to leave for me easily there's there's I no I said Polo last to leave man oh man bro you, you ain't here game with me his um, yes. mini his mini re- remix yes bro but bro, bro I'm like crap the fuck like come with try me come on man I can't come do on. it man. I can't do it come on I do it I bro I can't do it there's no way that I'm putting Polo G over Youngboy. Not at this moment in time. Not at this moment in time. Absolutely not. Come on. He has to, man. No, bro. I, I can't do it. Pop out. Um, Picture this. Like, come on. You ain't you ain't going to keep them? Okay, bro. Just going through AI Youngboy right now. Lonely Child. Rebels Kick It, bro. Have you heard Rebels Kick It? Probably not. Bro, listen to it. Slime Mentality, Self Control. Which album was Free D Dog on? Was that the single? That was just a single. Oh, that, that was a hard song. That. Uh, 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 for uh, respect, for freedom, for loyalty, for what important? Dropout, Trap House, Showdown, Can't Be Saved, Two Hands, Head On, I Am Who They Say I Am, TTG, This For Thee, Permanent Scar, Bro, with Thug, and Quando Rondo. Like, like, come on, bro. Drawing symbols. How can you not? Come on, bro. You really going to put that? You really going to put Polo G's discography? Yes. Over. You're going to take. Okay. You're going to take his two best albums and put it against Young Boy's five best albums. Do you not listen to the young boy Diet fan base. Legend, the young boy Gold. fan base will come after you. I, I, I want every last one of them to make a comment right now. I, I don't. I, I want every last one. Young of them boy fan base, I support you on this one. 
comment down below. That was a tough video to do. It was. Because all it. four of these artists, as we said, are great. They're versatile. The best artists in 2020 as of right now. In in the 2020s decade for hip hop. They're like the four. It's like Mount Rushmore right now. For 2020s. For the new era anyway, yes. Um, We're going to do another One Gotta Go soon for rap albums. Or just music albums in general. Yeah, if y'all got any suggestions, please comment. We, and also you know, rappers. We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do another string of rappers for one gotta go. We're also gonna do other musical artists. We're gonna throw some throwbacks in there. Like a Michael Jackson, a James. I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but Yeah. We we, 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 we gonna we, kick it on school yeah. for y'all. Curtis Mayfield, we're gonna kick it on oh, school. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Freddie's dead. Freddie's dead. Yeah. Or Pusher Man. L little child running wild. Pusher Man. Like <laughs> yeah. we, we gonna kick it on school we for y'all. We, 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 we got y'all. We got y'all. We got y'all. Hey man, we appreciate y'all watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please help us out and give us a subscribe. It will always help us out. We appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for everybody that's been showing support. We got more content on the way. Until next time, peace and love.